Hey guys, so today we are going to build our first app, which is a normal and basic calculator, which looks something like this. So we have a heading calculator, two text box with a label enter first number and enter second number. So what we are going to do is that we are going to enter two numbers, first and second, and we are going to give user four buttons to like add, subtract, multiply and divide the numbers the two numbers and display the answer on the screen so we are going to display the answer below the buttons where the answer label is displayed so we are going to use inner html here so let's see the html code behind this so the like starting with the basic html code we are going to like html head with like a simple title calculator title is not actually necessary for this uh, tutorial just for the information i am like writing the title calculator and in style we are going to see the css the script we are going to see the javascript behind the code and in body we are going to see the html so starting with the html we are going to put a background image which is this and which will display the background image here and we are going to align it in the center. After that, I have entered two break line tags, which will put the cal calculator heading below the lines, like here. So which uh, this will put the calculator heading below the lines, like in the center. So we have a clear view what the heading is. So after that, we are going to put the text enter first number. You can also do this by the label tag. So I have used a paragraph because I have to change the font and style of the text. So if you are familiar with the label tag, you can also use the label tag as well. So like this, I have styled this font 30. Font style is white. So as you can see, I have the font size 30 and the color is white. After that, I have an input text box, which is of type text. And uh, you can also change the height and width of the text box. Also, you can place a placeholder like to tell user enter a number. You can just put enter first number, enter second number on the placeholder as well. So I have just put enter number on the placeholder after that we have uh, just uh, copied this and pasted over here also the thing we are going to change is that enter second number we are going to assign an id to both the input text box so as we can pass the value to the javascript after that we are going to add four buttons here and we are going to assign on click functions on the button when you are starting with the HTML, you just have to like open a button tag and just add the buttons. When you are done with the script, done with the JavaScript, then you can add the functions to work. So I have added four buttons and this NBSP tag is used to give spaces between the two numbers. So as you can see, I have given four tags between these and it will give this distance between each of these buttons so now we are going to do is assign a place where the answer is to be displayed so we are going to place a paragraph tag uh, you can change the css and assign an id p1 and put the paragraph as answer and we will end the bo html body tag and end the html now coming on to the css part we are going to style the heading in the color white so that the calculator's color is white you can also change it by the uh, external CSS, but I prefer in internal CSS because we are not actually doing a lot of things in the CSS part. So you can just assign a style tag and do the CSS as well. So coming on to script tag, we have a function add in which the two numbers are assigned to the variable A and variable B with the ID tag ID1 and ID2. We are going to get the values by document.getElementById.value. This will do is that this will fetch the ID, fetch the value from the input text box, turn it to int and give this value to variable A. Same it will do for variable B. Now the most important part is the functions to perform. We are going to assign a variable Z. You can take any variable name and we'll assign a plus b to that variable to display the variable on the screen we are going to use document dot get element by id dot inner html now here we are going to use the p1 id which we have assigned to the paragraph in the answer tag what this will do is that it will replace the answer 
with the value that has been calculated with the function. I can just show you like I, I will write 2 and I will write 3 and I will just add this. You can see the two numbers added and then the answer is replaced by the value 5. Now we are going to do the same for subtraction, multiplication and division as well. So the procedure is same for all the functions because just we have to assign a different symbol for each function. So in subtract we have minus, multiplication we have asterisk and division we have a division symbol. So we are going to end this function with a ending script tag. Now to make this work, we are going to assign a function on click function to the button tag and assign the function value to the on click tag. So the but we are going to write on click is equal to double quotes. So what this will do is that when we click this add button, it will call this function add and it will fetch the IDs or fetch the values from this IDs and assign to the variable. And after that, it will calculate the values and assign it to the variable Z. When this happens, it will assign the value of Z to the value of paragraph tag, which is the answer and replace it with the value. So for your convenience, I'm going to just put this whole code in the description so that you can check uh, where you have gone wrong if you have any errors or if you have any doubts you can check the code below in the description now what we are going to do is like we are going to have a simple live preview of this so as you can see the background has been changed to the given image the heading has been changed to the color white the labels for the input text box are changed to white and the font has been uh, font size has been changed as well we have four buttons, add, subtract, multiply and divide and a paragraph answer to display the values that has been calculated. So we are going to test is again 20. We are going to give first value and second value as 10. Now we are going to add this 30, subtract this 10, multiply this 200, divide this 2. So as you can see, all the buttons are working and all the buttons are ca calling the functions add, subtract, multiply and divide. We are just going to calculate the two numbers with the IDs and just display here on the paragraph tag. So the last thing we are going to do is convert this code to a Android app. Now what we are going to do is open the code of file, open the code of file and we are going to just go back uh, with this www folder. Right click on the folder and click on send to compressed zip file. It will create a zip file and you can just rename it with any name like I'm going to rename it to first app. Now the zip file has been created in the folder. What we're going to do is open adopt phone gap just as I have told you guys in the previous video that we are going to use adopt phone gap build to convert the HTML CSS JavaScript assets to an APK file. So as you can see, we have a screen which uh, in which you can just update the code. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you are just going to see the uh, new app option. So as I have uploaded an application on my own, we are going to just uh, click here, update code and choose the zip file that we have created earlier. So we are going to select our zip file here and just open it it will just upload the zip file onto that website so now as you can see we have built here over here you can see the android app logo we have built an apk file on this button if you so if you click this button you can just download the apk file and install it on your mobile phone as you can see the default name from my previous project is study tech and this is a default logo what which I used in my previous project it's simply going to be the default logo and name for my app so now you can see that the name of the APK is T study tech debug some numbers dot APK so this APK file you can just install it on your phone and and you can see the app in this format like the calculator enter first number this is the text box 
into second number this is the second text box four buttons and the answer on the bottom so now we have seen so far that how you are going to design a web page and convert it to an android app so this is a simple app just to introduce the javascript concept to the android app development we are going to see some more basic apps like a weather battery indicator and much more as well so thanks for tuning in for this episode so i'll see you guys in my next video till then subscribe to the channel share this video comment if you have any doubts or any thing related to the android app development course thank you stay tuned bye bye